ask yourself, does the difference really matter um, between control labels and private labels? Um, the distinction is important from two perspectives, contract law and intellectual property law. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is definitions. What is a control label? A control label is a brand, a brand that a supplier owns and controls but dedicates to one specific retail account, either by quality control agreement or understanding. Exclusive outlet agreements, on the other hand, um, violate federal law. So you can't have a, an, an agreement that you're only going to sell in one specific uh, retail premise. The product is manufactured to the specifications of the retailer, which is why in that last panel I wanted to ask, how much, how do they specify uh, the production uh, 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 constituents of their, of their, of the brands that they buy? The supplier in a control label owns the intellectual property, and the retailer controls the marketing and advertising of the particular product. And the margins, which is all important, as you heard before, are controlled through the three-tier system. And the concept of intellectual property is key to understanding uh, the whole private control label world. Private label, what is it? There's two kinds. One is a retailer contracts with a manufacturer to put their logo or, logo or label on an existing product. Uh, bulk wine is the best example, or special products that are, exist that are surplus in the, on the, in the supplier's inventory. Um, or they have a product produced at our specifications. This is very popular at Kirkland. The Kirkland uh, brand in Costco is they have products produced to their own specification. The owner of the intellectual property with the retailer's name on it um, can license that brand for broad market products and often do. A brand is proprietary to the intellectual property owner. It may be licensed to others for production. Uh, IP is the key to understanding private control labels. Uh, if you control the intellectual property, you can contract with different manufacturers for production of the same product. This is common in wine. You will see different suppliers producing the same brand of wine. That's where the, when, when the supplier typically owns a particular intellectual property. It becomes more difficult when the intellectual property is owned by the retailer. Now, um, a true private label is sold in the uh, um, retail location of the owner of the intellectual property. Um, or could be sold in broad market through an IP licensing arrangement where royalty revenue is captured by a third party or brand owner. This is common in the celebrity area, uh, er, celebrity label area. They will, they will commission products to be produced using their intellectual property and they will get a royalty on that particular product being sold. And it's often sold in one particular retail account or one particular chain. Um, ask yourself, does the difference really matter um, between control labels and private labels? Um, the distinction is important from two perspectives, contract law and intellectual property law. Um, who owns, the, who owns the, the products is also of interest to the particular regulators involved. Most state liquor law regulations do not differentiate between private and control labels. This has led to an immense amount of confusion among the industry members and the regulators. <laughs> 